Hey, this is a video for 3.7, total fertility rate. So go ahead and check out the overview and set up your guided notes. So globally, the total fertility rate is it's just at around 2.3 children. And what that means, it's a total number of children that the average woman will have in her lifetime. Obviously, you cannot have 0.3 children, but when you factor in all of the uh, reproductive females on the planet, this is the average. Uh, if you look at many countries, North America and Europe and Eastern Asia and, and Australia, the Fertility rate is lower than two, but in sub-Saharan Africa, it is well above two. Uh, there are many factors that are related, related to this. One of them is infant mortality rate. So this is the number of infants that are dying in the first year of life per 1,000 births. So if you notice here, the infant mortality rate is higher in sub-Saharan Africa, which is why the fertility rate is higher. So one factor is you're having more babies to replace the babies that have died. Um, there's also other factors that are influencing this that are related to uh, social issues. But if you notice, infant mortality rate is very low in North America. It's also lower in Europe and much of Asia. In Sub-Saharan Africa, the mortality rate is quite high. Globally, the infant mortality rate is just under 30. Uh, 30 deaths per 1,000 live births. So we have replacement level fertility, and this is something that goes hand in hand with the total fertility rate. So the replacement level fertility is the number of children that are required to maintain a stable population. And globally, the replacement level fertility should be around, like right around 2.1. And the reason for that is not everyone has a baby, not everyone is able to have a baby, and also not everyone lives to be reproductive age. So in order to replace the human population, the global replacement level fertility should be around 2.1. But there are different factors that are inf influencing this. For starters, if we have different traditions in, in some countries, uh, it may indicate a woman's role in society where women have uh, more of a nurturing role in society, they will probably have more children. If women are well regarded and, and allowed to enter the workforce, in other words, if they have more rights, the total fertility rate will likely be smaller. If women are getting educated, the school takes priority over children, so the total fertility rate in countries where women are being educated will also be lower. And finally, in countries where the medical advances, uh, where there have been medical advances, childbirths are safer and the total fertility rate will likely be reduced. Now, if the total fertility rate is under 2.1, that indicates the society may be quite advanced. Many advanced societies or developed societies like the United States, uh, much of Europe, uh, Japan, the fertility rate will be under 2.1. And this will cause a population to go down because the parents are actually not replaced. There's two parents, a male and a female that must, you know, reproduce in order to have an offspring. So to replace the two parents when they die, you need to have two children. And like I said, slightly more than two because not everybody is going to have a child. If it is exactly 2.1, it's because we have more opportunities for women if it is more than 2.1, we have less opportunities for women. And the replacement level uh, would be 2.1 would be in a developed country. And in a developing country, it will be two, more than 2.1. Because again, developing countries have high levels of infant mortality. And there's other factors that are contributing to this as well that we'll learn in other videos. So for if the population increases with a uh, replacement level fertility of above 2.1, that's because the total fertility rate is high. And again, if the fertility rate is above 2.1, the population will definitely increase. What I would like you to do is respond to this check for understanding. 
For the FRQ practice, I want you to justify a possible total fertility rate for a population with this pyramid. I hope that this video is informative. I thank you for your attention and I will see you soon. Bye.